Connor won't be able to talk shit to me though. That won't fly with me. I don't play that game. How bad do you want to kick Connor McGregor's ass? Can't talk about the golden child like that. Talk yourself right into a title shot, man. Hell yeah, good job, buddy. I already have the numbers. Donald has nothing. You're stiff as a board. I'd snap you in half. Auto about to beat your ass. You beat nobody. Sit the f down. Yeah! In the fucking press conference, I wanted to rip him so bad. Of course. You slept him! You know, they said to me that if Cerrone wins, then they would do it. It's like, Cerrone pussy that would happen big time. Listening to this Joker talk, we all just sit back here and laugh. Another broke, jealous, bitter fire. You think this Connor fight does happen potentially? <laughs> Who knows, man? We talk about my religion, oh! we talk about my country, we talk about my father. Oh, and no, Alchemy no, jumps no, the fence. No, 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 no. Whoa! Mayhem! All hell is broken loose! So Conor McGregor comes out and retires. Conor McGregor has announced his MMA retirement. There's no hunger anymore. He doesn't want it, it anymore. And why Guess should what? we sit up there continuously Guess talking what? about a guy that don't want to fight? Conor McGregor arrested. This is not the first time this guy's had something like this outside the cage. We see him in the news for the wrong reasons. What's it going to cost Conor McGregor before he decides this isn't worth it? Did you hear the rumor about Cowboy and Conor? That's a money-making fight. They go back four and a half years. Do you think he comes back, though? It's been a lot of years. I don't know. I can't imagine Conor drifting off into the sunset. He has to fight again. Get Listen. a grip on life, bro. Let's go. I would like to announce to the public the return of the notorious Conor McGregor on January 18th in the T-Mobile Arena. I am going to go through the entire roster like a chainsaw through butter. Make no mistake about that. Conor McGregor is back and will fight against Cowboy Cerrone. And they're going to do it at 170 pounds. That's a very good fight. Right? Perfect time for it too. I fought the top guys my whole time. Killers, killers, killers. So you got to fight the killer, the lion. This win over Cowboy Cerrone is crucial. True champions can come back. True champions rise again. There's so many stories of this, and mine is going to be the greatest one of all. I've done it before when I was doubted. Surprise, surprise, the king is back! I'm eager to do it again. I got a lot of knowledge. I got a lot of time in that cage, man. I'm very dangerous in there. I'm going in confident with a lot of knowledge gained. I must fight for redemption, retribution, respect. There's nothing you're going to show me that I'm like, oh, that's new. I never seen that. Not a chance. I've been there. I've been in the fire. I must not go down that path of the fighter that has it all. I'm going to leave it all behind in ruins. This is where I put everything to rest. Connor, here I come. It is an insult to the people who believe in me that I am not fully committed. Now I am coming back and I am fully committed. He's gonna bring it and we're gonna stand and throw the fuck down. Here I am, returned to take back my throne. I don't think there's gonna be any feeling out presses. I think he's gonna come across the ring and we're gonna go. It's the, end of the, the return of a fully focused Conor McGregor. Bitch, I'm a motherfucking boulder in your way. Most wins in UFC history, baby! And most finishes in UFC history. January 18th, I am coming back, and I am going through that entire roster, and I'm going to do it back to back to back.